Well, a new House Republican-led committee alleging the weaponization of the federal government against conservatives held its first hearing on Thursday. Now, among the witnesses, former FBI Special Agent Nicole Parker, who told lawmakers the trajectory of the FBI changed during her 12 years of service. The Bureau's mission it remained the same, but its priorities and governing principles shifted dramatically. The FBI became politically weaponized, starting from the top in Washington and trickling down to the field offices. Niall Stanich, White House columnist for The Hill, joins us now. So, Niall, the committee's chair, Jim Jordan, laying out why the GOP launched this panel. We have that clip. Americans have concerns about the double standard at the Department of Justice. Americans have concerns about the disinformation governance board that the Department of Homeland Security tried to form. They have concerns about the IRS and the thousands of new agents who are coming to that organization. So there's been a fierce partisan divide over this. Republicans alleging systematic bias, but Democrats say it's this committee that's been weaponized. So what happened yesterday, Now. What happened really, Kelly, was each side setting out this position were used to divides, of course, in American politics. But on this particular topic, there's just this Grand Canyon-sized chasm dividing each party. You played the clip there of Congressman Jordan, who leads this subcommittee, talking about all the various elements that he think come together to present a nefarious picture. On the other hand, we had the leading Democrat on the subcommittee, Stacey Plaskett, talk about the idea that this was essentially a way to put forth or promote conspiracy theories and settle scores, as she put it. So yeah, this is not a one where you have a partisan difference of opinion. You have a complete partisan disagreement as to whether this problem even exists or not. And I think that's why it was such a, a raucous hearing yesterday. Really interesting. Um, so was there anything that stood out to you from these witnesses that you feel like is, is really important in this conversation? Yeah, I thought the clip that you played from Nicole Parker, who had spent 11 years in the FBI, was telling and probably the best moment for Republicans during the day. Because the witnesses, it had broken into a bit of a game of two halves. There were several political witnesses and then a couple of former FBI agents, including Ms. Parker. And her argument that the trajectory of the FBI had been changed for political reasons was, I think, compelling as was her argument that that had opened up a gulf between headquarters in Washington, which she portrayed as having become politicized, and agents in the field, who she said were still straight down the line and increasingly alienated from that Washington line. Interesting. All right, Niall Stanage, great context as always. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.